Logan's Run was a 1970s science fiction film adapted into a television series. That short-lived series was notable for featuring an adult, Heather Menzies, who had previously appeared as one of Yvonne Trapp's children in The Sound of Music. Though Logan's run only lasted 14 episodes, the increasingly short skirt that Heather wore left an impression on audiences that still has an effect to this day. Join Facts First as we explore how Heather Menzies almost showed too much skin on Logan's run. When most people hear the name Logan's Run, they think of the 1976 film. But that film was also adapted into a TV series. And while the film is generally regarded as a modest classic, the same can't be said of the TV series it inspired. But that doesn't mean the show had nothing to offer. Today, it remains notable most for the increasingly short skirt that one of its actresses was forced to wear, Heather Menzies. According to Heather herself, the skirt was so short she wasn't able to bend over while cameras were rolling. If it wasn't for that increasingly short skirt, which only continued to get shorter, the show would likely have been lost to the annals of history. As it stands, there is little else remarkable about the series, and it's understandable that it didn't have a very long lifespan. Most blame the matter of Heather's increasingly short skirt on the phenomenon that has come to be referred to as jiggle television. Jiggle television is a term coined by the head of NBC to disparage the content being made by rival network ABC. According to NBC, ABC was making content that bordered on the verge of pornography with how much it exploited the female form. Shows like Charlie's Angels love throwing actresses into scenes without bras, which resulted in plenty of jiggling. Logan's Run almost didn't make it to television. Though the Logan's Run TV series is far from being the most successful example of the phenomenon known as jiggle television, it's certainly one of the most aberrant. With its science fiction theming and origins from the PG-rated film, the show was aimed predominantly at children. But that didn't stop clever execs from realizing fathers would be more interested in letting their kids watch the show if something was in it for them. While some executives were in on it, others were flabbergasted when they showed up to set and saw what Heather Menzies was wearing. According to legend, one executive working on the show remarked there was no way such a thing could appear in a children's television show. Of course, this executive was proven wrong. Not only was Heather allowed to be showed on television in her short skirt, but the skirt only got shorter over the course of the show's run. There are numerous theories regarding why the series didn't click with audiences. Though it was hyped by its network, it was constantly thrown into different time slots. This resulted in audiences never knowing when the show would be on. Without a stable time slot, Logan's Run had no chance of developing a stable audience. Despite the fact that it was undeniably mishandled by its network, the quality of the 14 episodes that were produced wasn't all that great. If Logan's run had been given a proper chance by the network, Heather Menzies' short skirt might have been able to make an even greater impact. As it stands, the impact was great enough that people still talk about it today. Besides her short skirt, Heather also remains notable for other reasons, including the fact that she was one of the Von Trapp kids in The Sound of Music. The actress even paid homage to this in a 1970s photo shoot for Playboy magazine. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. The 1970s wasn't a great decade for sci-fi shows. Though the Logan's Run TV series wasn't successful, it was a mildly ambitious endeavor for the time. Sci-fi TV series were a bit harder to come by back in the day, and a big part of this was because they were difficult to produce. This difficulty can be seen in Logan's Run's lack of quality. The special effects certainly don't hold up today, and it's arguable they weren't all that great for the time. Beyond the technical problems, people also point to the Logan's Run TV show's lack of plot and memorable lore. Other science fiction series from around the time, like Battlestar Galactica, had deep backstories that drew audiences in and encouraged fans to obsess over small details. But the lore of Logan's Run may have been enough to carry a film, but it proved decidedly thin for a series. Although the writers might have found their groove if more episodes had been produced, the 14 released didn't explore any territory that the film didn't. Today, it's remarkable that the TV series adaptation is notable in any way. The people working in the wardrobe department likely had no idea that the skirt they were continually forced to shorten would prove so iconic decades down the line. Heather also became increasingly scantily clad in other ways. For instance, the producers eventually decided her character didn't need a bra. Heather Menzies was more than just a skirt. 
Following the failure of Logan's run, Heather could be seen acting in the B-movie Piranha. It was released in 1978 and was the directorial debut of Joe Dante. He went on to direct the 1984 Christmas classic Gremlins. Heather Menzies was born in the late 40s and got her first professional acting gig at age 13. This was the 1960s TV series My Three Sons. Not long after, she was cast as one of the Von Trapp kids in the film adaptation of The Sound of Music. She developed a close bond with lead actress Julie Andrews during filming and subsequently worked with Julie again on the picture Hawaii. After working with Julie Andrews twice, Heather decided she wanted to try out acting on stage for herself. Her role as Louisa Von Trapp in the film adaptation of Sound of Music paved her way for her debut on Broadway. At the age of 16, she appeared alongside Shirley Knight in the play We Have Always Lived in the Castle. As an adult, Heather found the majority of her success on television. In addition to Logan's run, she appeared alongside husband Robert Urich in a handful of his TV series, including Vegas. Heather Menzies' Marriage and Later Life Heather met Robert Urich while the two were filming a commercial together. They subsequently got married and worked together several times. This marriage lasted until his death from cancer. Many years later, Heather died of cancer herself. Robert and Heather had several children, and one of these grew up to be a doctor as a result of his father's death. It wasn't until son Ryan was already a doctor that his mother passed away. Robert and Heather also performed together on stage to universal acclaim. Their biggest play was called The Hasty Heart, and Ronald Reagan allegedly loved the play when he and his wife attended a performance at the Kennedy Center in D.C. The late Heather Menzies undeniably deserves to be remembered for much more than the increasingly short skirt she wore on the TV series Logan's Run. However, it's also certainly understandable it remains a popular topic. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you watch the Logan's Run TV series? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the Join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Facts First or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members only videos waiting for you with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click join and we'll see you inside the membership tab.